What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Gamer. Welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're back with some more Monster Hunter. We're checking out the Monster Hunter Rise Great Sword gameplay. So, I haven't seen this yet, but everybody was like, hey, 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 you gotta check this out because Great Sword is my second main weapon. So, I'm excited to see how they incorporate the wire bug and make the gameplay faster. What combos we're gonna see. So if you guys have seen this, comment below what your what your thoughts are on it. If you're excited for it, I'm gonna be playing this game on the channel, full play, let's play, full um, content coverage, just like I'm doing Monster Hunter World. I'm excited for Monster Hunter World on PS5. We're gonna get some updates there. I'm hoping to hear. But fam, without further ado, let's dive in. Here we go, Nintendo Switch. My final, my Nintendo Switch. Hello, everyone. Get some play time. And welcome to an early look at gameplay in Monster Hunter Rise on Nintendo Switch. Oh. Monster okay, Hunter Rise will take you to vast new locales where you can hunt a variety of unique monsters. Here we go. Luckily, you'll be equipped with various ways to explore your surroundings, find your prey, and take it down. Oh, baby. Look at that moveset. Look at that move of fluidity. Let's introduce you to our new canine companion. What's his name? The Palamoo. The Palamoo. With the help of these highly trained hounds, hunters can cover terrain faster than ever. That sounds like socks. And even use items during their exploration. Hunters are able to boost stamina. Okay. Sharpen weapons. Okay, okay. And drink potions to stay prepared for the challenges ahead. I'm ready. Today, our hunt takes place in the Shrine Ruins, a once sacred land now overtaken by nature. I love the terrain, how you can just run the up walls now. The mountainous ranges lead to breathtaking vistas but can prove to be quite the challenge to conquer. Okay, so we gotta Thankfully, do. hunters are equipped with the new wire bug. This trusty wire bug will unlock a new layer of vertical mobility, allowing you to reach new heights and discover endemic life to help you on your hunt. <coughs> I'm excited for endemic it. Endemic life can be found by exploring the nooks and crannies of peaceful spots, or even amidst dangerous monster territory. Interacting okay, with these looks similar. Will give hunters a variety of bonuses, such as increased stamina, defense, oh, attack, that's cool. helpful items, or additional wire bug charges. With our hunter fully prepped and ready to battle, it's time to hunt down our target, the peculiar bird wyvern, Agnason. Okay, let's Upon see. finding our prey, the Palamutes quickly engage in battle and take the role of active fighters during the hunt. Oof. Their damage! The Great Sword is a weighty weapon type capable of delivering meaty chops to unsuspecting monsters. Great Sword wielders have to plan their attacks very I like that. carefully in order to take advantage of the weapon's devastating charged slashes. It's a slow weapon, but big, big damage. Let's see. Okay. Hunters are prone to taking knocks, but with quick reflexes and a well-timed use of the wireful technique, you can cancel they can them. jump right back into action. I like that. That was one of my requests as well. Wire bug, hunters are able to utilize these threads without a moment's hesitation to enhance their mobility on the hunt. Mm-hmm. That's. I'm so excited for that. Mobility is the one thing that makes the game. Also, having a fast like range, that. its attacks are faster and deadlier than before. Our hunter needs to tread very. Carefully. Our hunter attempts to get the upper hand by utilizing a new wire bug greatsword move called Hunting Edge. Was that charge? Ooh, was that a helm, helm breaker? With a tactical retreat and the use of a mega potion, our hunter escapes defeat by the skin of their teeth. Boom. Okay, I never use that move. Looks like the sheet time is the same. The cancels are all still there for the tackles. Oh, there's three levels the tackle for that one. is a valuable asset in the greatsword user's arsenal. It helps you skip levels. Allowing you to withstand fierce blows and access various combo routes, such as a shortcut to the iconic True Charge Slash. Mm -hmm. Oh, I even had to hit him. Using the wire bug, a <sighs> hunter takes to the skies and harnesses gravity to deliver a powerful multi hit attack. Bro, that's the one. Plunging thrust. That's the one. 
I love it. You finally have more options to use with Great Sword. Weapon type now not just TSC. Firebug assisted moves added to their toolkits. However, careful management of their cooldowns is paramount. Yeah, you do. It takes like newfangled abilities all rely on a like shared ball. Thirty of seconds. Works. No, maybe it was like 15 seconds of cooldown. I'm sure someone knows in the comments. And here, a hunter dodges Atlasom's fiery Ooh. assault with the power sheet. A swift evasive move that also boosts the hunter's attack power for a short period of time. Oh, there's even more. Atlasom is retreating to another area of the shrine ruins. So we'll wrap up our hunt here. We hope you've enjoyed an early look at some of the new gameplay features coming to Monster Hunter Rise. I like it. I like it. It's quick. Swift. Stay tuned for more Please. info on Monster Hunter Rise coming soon. The hunt begins on Nintendo Switch, March 26, 2021. Oh my, it's almost here. So pre-order now if you want to. Gonna be doing full coverage in the game. I'm excited for it. A couple of things I like that I like the new helm splitter you get with the weapon. I think this is the part where he did it right now. But I'm telling you, the best thing I think for this weapon is, and this game essentially, it, it spices things up. Valuable asset in the great sword user's arsenal because it gives you mobility, allowing you to withstand fierce blows and access various combo routes, such as a shortcut to the iconic. True charge slash. Oh, look at that. I think he hit his wing right there, that's why. Dodging speed still the same. Using the wire bug, a hunter takes to the skies mm -hmm. and harnesses gravity to deliver a powerful multi hit. I attack. like that. Three hits. The plunge in thrust. And it looks pretty good damage, too. Yeah, because that one's doing a charge attack at 27. Each weapon type now, now has with the wire bug assisted moves added to their toolkits. However, careful management of their cooldowns is paramount. These newfangled abilities all rely on a shared pool of wirebugs. Okay, I feel like that could have been a little more aggressive. And here, a hunter does love that counter. Fiery assault with the power sheet. I wonder how the it's mountain is going to work. That also boosts the hunter's attack power for a short period of time. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm excited. I'm excited for the moves. I'm liking how I switch things up. I'm excited how you get explore the terrain a little differently now with the wire bug. So we're gonna be doing full coverage in this game. I'm excited for the new news that's gonna come out regarding it. Put your comment below what you guys thought about the new movesets, the game in general. My family, if you're new, subscribe, like, and give a thumbs up. Till next time, Jerry Camera, signing out. Have you ever